this episode of Iconic Brands, it's about the art of the car, my MGB GT. For me, this Pina Farina inspired car is one of the best quintessential British cars, in my opinion. As far back as the Romans and the ancient Greeks, architecture had to be both practical, functional and pleasing to the eye. A bit like this building behind me now. So why not our cars? Many artists and designers work to a mathematical formula for both shape and form proportions. This is known as the golden ratio. I'm sure Pina Farina, who inspired this car, had that in mind when he designed it. Italian artist Walter Molino, whose 1962 painting predicted what cars would look like in 2022. We have not gone as far as his picture portrays, for I can appreciate the 60s car designs of Molino's time. If some of you are watching this video now and think that a car is just a functional means of getting from A to B, and art plays no part in a car whatsoever, I advise you to watch something else <laughs> from this point on. If art has no other use other than to itself, imagine a world without it. The beauty of this car lies in the minimalist lines of its design. Look at the curves and the way the headlight stands above the bonnet. The wings flow in a timeless wave up to the window screen. The air intake tilts its hat to the slatted design of the front grille and the heritage badge. There are no reversing lights to clutter the rear. This serves to enhance the shaped and crafted rear bumper. With overriders that house the number plate lights that look like a spaceman's helmet. As the tailgate elegantly rises, the chrome struts actually look designed to lift something far heavier with the industrial flat springs on show. The beauty of this car is enhanced by what it hasn't got. It hasn't got wing mirrors which enhances the side of this car because it's uninterrupted right through to the back of the car. Even this map light is a work of art. Another spaceman's helmet. To me, the MGB GT and lots of other classic cars are rolling pieces of sculpture. They are art. When you consider, if you go to a classic car show, the chances are you'll see many different cars from many different decades. Even the most mundane cars on the road were once art on the designer's drawing board. Simplistic and mass-produced, 
a car that stayed in production for over 18 years. For me, this car is art of the 60s. It typifies that era. And it's got to be determined as art. Rolling art. A moving sculpture, if you like, from that decade. Thank you.